Hooray! Time for some supersonic speed! Hey, hey, hey! Not bad, not bad at all! Oh no! What? Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, hey, Sonic. What's up? <laughs> Sonic, what's wrong? Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. Sonic, is this Sonic Adventure 2? Uh, yeah. God damn it. You know what, Sonic? You need to show the world not why not only Sonic Adventure 2 is one of the greatest Sonic games in the ring, but one of, one of the best video sequels of all time. So come on, Sonic. Let's show the world why the game should be praised, not bashed. Oh, yeah. This could be fun. Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again, and some hobo he picked off the street. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey guys, so um, as you can see from the title, I'm doing the adventure video game review of Sonic Adventure 2. Now you're doing an adventure review of Sonic. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, adventure review of Sonic Adventure 2. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's uh, gonna be magical. Yes. Well, that's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. Well. The reason why I also wanted this review, uh, why I'm doing it, is because my friend of mine here showed me uh, a video of, you all know him, uh, he's a big YouTuber. <laughs> Have you guessed yet? No. Probably not because of my terrible rendition of the stain, but go ahead and say it. It's uh, Pro Jared, and uh, Pro Jared did an interview on uh, Sonic Advent the Sonic Adventure game sequel that we're doing right now, and he didn't like it, and... And with this Pro Jared, a lot of people were surprisingly hating on this game. Well, he's saying what everyone else is saying. Like, the Sonic parts, the Magnificent. But the rest of the game, don't even bother. That's what everyone's saying about it now. And yet they're still diverging on that, I guess, road that it's not good, like, at all. Period. Right, and that's couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, the Sonic parts are great, and even Shadow's parts are great. So is everyone else's, though it might be in... The Knuckles parts is probably the weakest, but it's not exactly really the worst thing ever either. You know what I mean? Because some people like me and I are not good with signing stuff. There's other people like my friend here who's really good with it. So that's just, so it's each it's each to each their own. You know what I'm saying? So the so that's the, that's why I'm doing this review. So it's kind of like a, I guess a video response to Pro Jared to show them, hey, it is a great game. It's not just okay. It's a great game. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't need all the hate. And all the stuff that it's deserving, like it's a bad game. Not perfect by any means, but it's not. I mean, it's not Secret perfect, rings. right? Secret rings. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it, but it's not. You know, it's not uh, Sonic 06. What well, from what from what I'm seeing, like it's they're making it seem like it's a Sonic 06 game when that could be further from the truth. It's a great game. You know, they're I'm trying saying? to bring us down, but it's no use. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like for example, the running parts. Um, of Sonic, you know, and running through the city, those were fantastic, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, it, of course, the first level, um, is iconic, and, you know, and stuff, and it's, it's, it's truly memorable, hell, Sonic Generations put that same level back on there as well. Chucker's but, never gonna get his revenge on Sonic, though, he chases and chases and never catches up, but I don't think we need to hammer to death on the Sonic, or everybody at least agrees on that, that those are the best, like, parts of the game. Nah, that's, the ultimately why we're here is why the other parts, like, for example, the on rails just focus on the parts. That I, the other parts I like. The on rails shoot parts with Eggman slash Tail. A lot of people like those parts, and everyone's saying it's a boring shooting gallery, but to me, it's a shooting gallery that's fun. Yeah, it's easy to relax and shoot things, but it's mindless fun. It's like it kind of reminds me like you know the arcade shooters, you know, for example, going to time prices and just mindlessly shooting at bad guys. It's kind of just mindless fun. You just put some with some platforming here and there, but it's just mindless shooting fun. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard, it's not, you know, oh my god, it's terrible. It's just a nice, it's one of those modes that it's like, you know, for all the racing and all the fast things, I feel like those guys to kind of sit back and relax and just shoot some shit and just kind of Sit back, here. relax, and murder everyone in your path. <laughs> or just kind of do some platforming here and there. So to say that's bad, it's just outrageous. It's a great, great um, mode. It's fantastic. And um, I love Grand Eggman's was constructed better than Tails, because, you know, based on the story I've heard from development, uh, Tails was kind of, uh, robot parts, was, you know, shooting gallery thing, was kind of last second, 
But even in his last second, it, is, it was still well put together. It's still fun. It's not a mad space, which we'll get to later. But, <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, my favorite of the shooting ones is actually uh, Dr. Eggman's Cosmos kind of Malt's very last stage because the anti gravity, you get to like fly so high and have so fun with the platforming in that. And I kind of wish there's only one pet peeve of mine with the shooting max. I kind of wish they had that, I guess, floatiness to them to make the. Uh, getting from place to place a little bit easier. I mean, who am I to judge? I still play this game to death. I think I'm going on like 10 playthroughs, like 15. Something along those ridiculous numbers I play the whole game through. I don't just, but if you want to play like City Escape and High Lane, get off the features. No, I play the whole story mode every time I play it. Now, completing it, 180 emblems. That's a different beast in itself, and I'll probably never do that, but... I still find enjoyment from beginning to end with everybody's gameplay, not just Sonic and Shadow. Right, that's the big, that's the only why we're focusing on, you know, that, because yes, Sonic and Shadow's parts are great, but so is everyone else's. Shadow and his four levels. <laughs> right. I mean, granted, each is to each their own, but they're still great, you know, some are better than others. They're, they're still, still good great. to be found in them. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. So to say it's garbage is outright ridiculous. I mean, you know, like, you know, like, for example, I love Tails in first level. It's nice when you go around and you shoot stuff. It's just really just a great, it's just a great, you know, opening, you know, how to get used to the controls. It's just a light game, you know? And the reason I like, I think I like the um, Eggman Rogue One too, so much because instead of just attacking, you know, Sonic all the time, he's kind of like moving the plot in his own track, you know? You know, he's doing stuff like a villain. He's not just sitting around just waiting for the, well, for the hero to show up. Let's see if Sonic shows up. I hope he does. I mean, I built all of these robots for him, and if he doesn't show up, I'm going to look like quite a bit of an idiot. <laughs> exactly. That's why I love those levels. It's like he's a, a villain that's on the move, you know, doing something, you know, you know, advancing the plot. You know what I'm saying? You're rooting against it, but, you know, you want to, you know, play these, you know, beat these levels at the same time to move the story along so that way you can figure out what is this... What's his part as a vet, you know, in this game? Matt, and it just makes sense for me, like, uh, Eggman to be in something like this. Would you really want him <laughs> going around, like, just running? Well, then again, people probably saw Eggman hack the city escape and say otherwise, because that's apparently a lot of people on that. <laughs> City Escape as Eggman, watching everything be destroyed. Just him and himself, you know, in the Chow Garden where he can be just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm for sure that out. Yeah, that's right. But still, it's just something that makes the most sense for him. It. That's all. I mean, he's, he's, he deals with robotics. It makes sense. And Tails is a genius. Uh, is a genius character himself. Uh, it will also make sense for him to be in something like that as well. I mean, Sonic Adventure. Did we forget what he did with the tornado plane? I mean, that was him. Exactly. It wasn't like Sonic and Knuckles. Doing that, helping him with this. Sonic just, and Big. God damn it. Which, <laughs> I mean, one thing that, that, come on, we all agree, we're happy that they didn't return to sequel, so. <laughs> See, they did that right. They didn't bring Big back. And then he's, like, fishing, even though <laughs> there's no need for him to be. <laughs> right. And, 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 and the original one, which I hope we will do a review of that in the future, had nothing to do with the main plot at hand. It's at least he, at least all these, uh, at least all these characters, like, you know, you know, with Sonic, Tails, you know, Knuckles, and Shadow, you know, Eggman, and Nick Ruse, was it? Yeah. All, all their stories connect, you know, all connect to that final big moment in the, in the final chapter. It's not like just something that's just, we're just, it just, just so happen to be there, you know? They're all connected, and I like that. I like stories that, you know, have a, that serve a purpose, you know, they're all connected in some way. It's not just coincidence or some shit like that, you know? And the whole, you know, and um, what else? And also the another part that people complain about when you know when they're going, when they're going, science going so fast and there's a slow down parts and you have to jump around and do some puzzles and platforms. People are like, oh my god, it's worse than since the worst thing ever, guys. Just because science is doing some platforming and slowing down does not ruin the entire level. And in fact, it's done really well, you know. Some better than others, but it doesn't kill a whole level. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me the whole Spider-Man 3 syndrome. That's because Spider-Man Spider was dancing all emo and acting all stupid. 
I mean, that one part shouldn't what are kill. What you talking the- about? That was the best part of the movie. <laughs> I could care for it, but it doesn't. They, but it doesn't kill the rest of the movie. The rest. Of, I mean, did you forget the awesome like Sandman and the, you know, it, you know, and, and Black Suit Spider-Man fight before that? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't. It doesn't kill the whole movie. Well, that's another discussion that we we get to another time. But you get my point. It that one thing shouldn't kill a whole level. You know what I'm saying? It should. You know what I'm saying? It's just a small part. And most, and 90% of it, you're running. Granted, some small parts where you have to do some platforming, some puzzling, but again, it doesn't kill the. I didn't. I didn't mind. It, you know, it mixes things up. You know, it didn't feel monotonous. And know? I think what's, I guess, getting to us most about, I guess, the opinions that are brought in this game, it feels like a lot of them are just going with the click, with the crowd. They're not trying this game for themselves because it's easily accessible. Xbox 360, PS3, even GameCube, Dreamcast, if you want to go old school enough. But they're just like hopping off the proper crowd and giving, not giving it a shot before casting their final judgments. And granted, if you played it and didn't like it, then we can't, we can't judge you for that. If you didn't care for it, it wasn't your cup of tea. It wasn't your cup of tea. No big deal. We're all adults here. We can all agree on that. But at least for those who are out there who are just jumping on board because it's the cool thing, at least play it first before you decide to jump with that click. Let me, let me, let me say a little story. Um. This kind of reminds me of a movie. Uh, uh, I, I, you curse probably heard all this. Uh, a million ways to die in the West. Um, it got a lot of negative feedback from uh, critics and by critics and stuff and fans alike. And because I didn't try for myself, I never saw it in theaters. You know, I'm saying I'm thinking, wow, you know, because that happens. You know, you know, Steven Spielberg. You know, as great a director as he is, as he is, he he's made bad films. Let's be honest. So. And what? If we want to bring it on to game terms, Shigeru Miyamoto. He's made a couple of not so great choices in the Mario line. Yeah, super star. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so then, well, like for example, um, so then, um, so then one day, you know, it was on, on, it was on the on demand channel, and uh, you know, I had the money to blow. And my friend's like, "Hey, you want to see a? You know, you want to see a bad movie? Like one of those movies? Like let's let's see a bad movie." And my friend's like, "On board with it." And not only was not it was not. A bad movie. It was actually a great movie. In fact, it was probably the most funniest comedies I've probably seen since the original Hangover. It was hilarious, and I think the, the whole deadpan humor of Seth MacFarlane was great. I mean, his sarcasm was fantastic. And right, I think the one complaint like, oh, he rants about the West all the time. It's only small. He only rants about it once, but it's funny. It's done a funny way, you know. What but, I mean? And that, let's be real here, folks. Do any of you want to be in the West? Exactly. <laughs> I think no one wants to be in the West. It's the worst time. And, and you know, you're talking about the West is the best place ever. I'm offended. <laughs> Please. I'm hearing. <hurting. laughs> anyway, so you get my so you get my point. Try it before you just judge it. Before you judge it, you know what I'm saying? Don't you know say oh it's it's, it's a piece of shit and just take the word for it. You never know, you might end up liking it. And I love the movie, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that and Ted too, and, and, and that's getting some heat too. Not as bad as many did, these ways, a million women died in the West, but still, it's it's still a great, you know, movie. So that, that's a that's point I gotta get. Just try the game, see see how it is for yourself. Just don't like jump on the train. And in my opinion, I mean, I'm just guessing, I'm not, you know, speaking for Broke Jared. I, I felt that he was just doing it because everyone else was doing it. That's the hot, that was the hot thing at that moment in time to do it. Like I said, it's cheap enough to give it a try. Heck, you might even have a friend who already owns it, like on GameCube or something or another, and you can just bum it from them real quick and give it a shot yourself if you have free weekend or whatever. But I guess rewinding back here, because we haven't talked about the entirety of the game yet, let's go right. to the pattern that you weren't too keen on, and I admit there were some parts of it that were... Not as well constructed as compared to the original adventure, but let's go to the treasure hunting section with Knuckles and Bruce. Right, what's, what's, what's the one thing you always complain about how you wish they, they brought the they brought this one for adventure? The radar, because the radar, how it works in Adventure 1, is that if you are near an emerald, regardless of its place, second, third, whatever, it'll still beep for you, so you can go ahead and go out of order. But in Adventure 2, they force you to do the first one. So say, for example, if you're running around in Pumpkin Hill, and you're up on, say, Church Mountain or whatever, and there's an emerald right there, but your radar is not bleeping, 
you could just totally pass it. But if you had the original Adventures radar, you'd be able to get that and just be on your merry way instead of missing it, getting the first one, then realizing I was just here two minutes ago and I just missed it. What a waste of time. That's the only thing that I can gripe about in terms of how Knuckles and Rouge control in these levels. They control like a dream. Nothing yeah, they, wrong with their control. Yeah, yeah, not the best. That's not my favorite parts. But I can't say the control something. The controls are fantastic. And thanks for helping them helping me. Um, I managed to get through it just fine. Twice. I beat this game twice. Not as many times as it is, but yeah. I beat this game two times. And not many games made me go back to try it again. So the fact that this I'm game, the horror of this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the fact that this game made me go back and do it not once but twice really says something about this game. Not many games do that for me, you know? And then, in terms of most of the uh, level design with everybody's level, I cannot think of one. Matt Space. I cannot think of one that's like completely and totally terrible pleasure. Matt Space. Okay, let's just deal with it. Everyone who's played the game and actually likes it can admit, Matt Space can suck a dick and burn in the second circle, third circle, fourth circles, and fifth circles of hell. Maybe the sixth one. I don't know about that. But it's just. The hint system is reversed, so that doesn't even help you at all. The moon's, one of the moon's gravity pulls you in, so you're like constantly stuck and fluctuating between different gravities as you're trying to go to plant the planet. And it's just too big and wide open for its own good, at least with Knuckles' final level of Meteor Herd. It's big, but from up to down, so you can kind of take it as in, you know, start from going to the top, searching around there and then just slowly making your way down until you find it. With Rouge, you're doing this! And you don't know where the fuck to go. Exactly, it's uh, so confusing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's so confusing. So those are the worst parts, but... Uh, uh, you know, and else, you know, and, uh, but this means it's the worst thing ever. I mean, those... Like I said, one level... It's, it, 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 it's every video game. There's, there's always that, that one level. level. For example, Recently, and my friends have witnessed this. Dragon Quest Heroes, if I review it, that I'll do in the future someday. There's one you gotta do an S for mission. Hmm. And those he are always more fun. with that. And those are always fun. <laughs> Since no one ever. <laughs> have you seen the gun? I'd rather just die than do that again. Oh, God. I didn't have a first try, but. Seen the handgun edited by four kids. We're gonna squeak. But it's like, seriously, it's like, I will not wanna do that again. It, it, I didn't have a first try, surprisingly. But trust me, so many things have gone wrong that I want to do it all over again. It's one of those type of games. Oh, you fucked up, start all over again. Oh, God, in a way, I think it's just slow and the AI's being retarded. Oh, it's just. The, mad, the fact that I got there is a miracle. Is, is a miracle. But, as with you anything, can say, a Christmas miracle? <laughs> yeah, it's in it. Christmas time. We're listening to this. It's the season, guys. But, like, you get my point. There's always that one level. That just, you couldn't, you could just, don't give a fuck. Even some of the greatest games I played, that I love, there's always that one level, my like, god, really? But, does it ruin the entire game? No. Because most of it is a, is a fantastic adventure. Again, um, what was like, the worst level for you? What's the worst level for the whole Tales and uh, Eggman levels? You what know? was the worst than those? Um... Eggman's, I would say it's one of his second Sand Ocean, and that's only when you don't have the hover boots. Oh my god, yeah. Then you can sink in the sand a lot, and with Tails, it's his Eternal Engine level, just because that one's a little bit on the tree. Oh yeah, side. where like, if you also you've lost these certain doors, you can fly right, in space. Right, oh god, right, yeah. Right. Now I remember that. Oh man. But I'll replay those. They're, they're perfectly fine levels to me in comparison to Mad Space. That, I'm like half like tempted. Can I just skip this one? But I still play through it. I'm still gunning for punishment. Heck, even in the footage I'm showing off, I recorded Mad Space. I don't know why I decided I was gonna record Mad Space, but I'm like, I hate myself. Let's do it. You know, twice what? even. Yeah, because the first time you did it really, really fast, and it basically like Mad Space wasn't all that bad. But then when we did it again. That's where it's ugly. It's it's Mad came off and shows ugly colors. <laughs> of why that level's not liked by everybody. Why, 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 that level's not liked, at least by us anyway. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, yeah, so, again, guys, um, the side levels are fantastic, as always. It's a classic, so is Shadows, even though they're only short four levels. We don't need to say any more about that. What, what we're mainly focusing they on, those other levels. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the Eggman and Tails levels are fine. Knuckles and Rouge, though not perfect, but for me anyway, but they're still playable and fine. It doesn't ruin the entire game experience. The boss levels, they range from good to, eh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so they're not perfect, but at least, hey, another thing they proved about from Adventure, well, you know where you gotta, like, find relics and stuff, 
and do little puzzles to mm-hmm. get to a level. Here it's like bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? That and they made the character battles a lot better and feel like actual battles instead of just hitting knuckles over and over again with him going, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then he's dead, right? Like, for example, even though I'm not a big fan of the whole Knuckles and uh, Rouge's levels, I do like their boss fight. They like when they fight each other. It's like, mm-hmm. it's, like, it's like constant back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Try to hit each other before she hits you kind of thing. It's like a deadly game, it's like a deadly, a deadly game tag. I really like it. A deadly game in Cat and Mouse, or in this case, Bat and a Kid. Not that not dead anymore. I'm sorry. No, Go it's on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, also, like... um. There's also that little, like, final race between uh, Sonic and uh, Shadow. Mm-hmm, it's a bit, it's, it's, it was hard, but it was intense, and I love it. It was like, really, really good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, and this, and this, well, if you keep running long enough for, like, ten minutes, the level gives up, and you both just die. <laughs> <laughs> because it can't do the infinite thing anymore for some reason. It, it figured you would have been done by that point. This is the Oh, <laughs> so I'm fact out there, guys. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, so again, again, you know, really get again, guys. I, I know we're stressing that. So, you know, like I said, if you played this game an entire way through and you didn't like it, like, like I said, like we said before, you completely understand. But mm-hmm. if you're just playing, if you're just hyping on, if you're just jumping on the hype because everyone's doing it. It just seems like there's not enough. That's why I do this. There's not no one's like, hey, you know, this game's not bad. The other parts aren't as bad as they got to be. It seems like everyone's like, yeah, this game sucks. This game sucks. And I'm like, no one does There's no redeemable qualities at all. Sonic and Shadow is going to make this game even more remotely playable. Everything else is garbage, and that's not. Because everybody on the internet sounds like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you get my point. It's like not everything is bad. It's it's well constructed. It's really well done. And come on. You can't hate your baby little child. They're so cute, though. Granted, a lot of people like Alex here don't care for him, but I, I, don't I, care for I, him. I adore them. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Because they don't really do much. All you can do is put them in races and, like, karate's and stuff. But... No, I do. That I do like, though. The karate stuff, that is cool. I'm not going to lie. But it's just there's something oddly simplistic yet addicting about seeing your little guys like, grow up into, like, little monstrosities or whatever you can make them to, yeah. like, half phoenix, half unicorn. I don't even know what this thing is. It looks like it should be put down, but <laughs> you go get them, kid. Right, exactly. And what I think, oh, and even though it's not for me, it's just more for him. And I think, I'm not I'm saying it's not a bad part. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's not for me, it's, it's for other people. Because he loves it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think what it is... It's part of those people. If you like those games that take care of pets and feed them, if you're into those type of games, then the child garden's way free. That's totally free. You get to feed it, train it, you know what I'm saying? Put it in competition. Well, I, I, think, I think it's just the Pokemon trainer in me that likes it. Yeah, it's, it's got that Pokemon <laughs> thing to it, too. Uh-huh. And it's cool. And, and not for nothing. You know, like, because if you would give me, like, Animal Crossing, which involves, like, taking care of houses and stuff, I'd be like, eh. So. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. But you can take care of an animal, that would be an odd thing. Yeah, I, mean, the, I recently got back to the Pokemon. But I guess, I guess see, I guess, I guess, but then again, I guess it's not, it's not for everybody. But what I do like, what, what, what I do like though, you don't know, like racing and building, building up. I do like the competitions though. That they're a lot of fun watch. Though if you see for the, if you saw for the footage, my friend's Cho is like so powerful. He's like John Cena and everybody, one shot everybody. Oh, she, that is a little ma'am. Thank you Sorry. very much. Sorry, you get my point. He's, that's how much the, uh, motivation he's put and devotion he's put into Even though I'm one. probably totally shitting with you. Chels don't have no gender. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> it could, it could not. Who not Lord literally knows. But then unfortunately we didn't record this because now I'm just thinking about it as soon as we're doing this. But this one also has like multiplayer like you could fool around with your friends. Have a Sonic like level race off. Right, have a yeah. battle to the death with the mech shootings and have a hunt off and then make Alex sad because he he's not that good at it. <laughs> but things, that's even that's another thing that's good about it. You can you can race each other, which is fun. Have a mech off, that's also fun. And granted, it's for treasure, I'm not as good. But I still like doing it. You know, it's kind of like you know, mm-hmm. it's kind of like an egg hunt kind of thing. I love it. And that's another thing uh, that, that, that 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 they did better than the original one. A friend can play with you. Granted, not for the story, but at least now you have a multiplayer mode to play with each other. That's good. Mm-hmm. You know, but my favorite one's the racing, of course. But the other modes aren't bad either. 
So I'm saying, it, just, it does a lot of things to improve on the original. The fact that you can jump to different levels right away. The fact that it's, you know, a hero side and a dark side, so it's mm -hmm. like both the heroes and the villain perspective. That, there's also this, like, kart racing thing, but I, I mean, it's a nice little thing. It's nothing bad. I mean, I don't think people complain with Mortal Kombat, but there's... Oh my god, no, I love that. In fact, I think Mortal Kombat should get into, like, a dark, like, de death metal, like, race. In fact, I think it should get to developers, like, a, a full auto or something. Yeah, but the car racing episode was like a harmless little add on. It's right. Like, and I wish, you know, hell, in the world of the Mortal Kombat one you just mentioned, they should get developed with like full auto and have them develop the game. And I, w I would buy that, you know, heck. And, 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 and um, with the whole racing thing, it, it, so Sega saw something in because they got not one but two racing games. One of them, which I have, which, uh, which I have both on Xbox and Wii U. So, on. so you know, it, 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 it brought. See, it shows that smaller things can lead to bigger, better games. It's exactly. Told, you know exactly, exactly. You never know. So, um, yeah, and, and so yeah. Again, guys, you know, give. Oh, and I, I know I keep repeating myself, but just give this game a chance. Don't hate on it. You know, what I'm saying. You know, I'm probably the only video out there by saying, hey, you know, it's not as bad as it is, and that people are making it out to me, which is true. It's not a bad game. I said I beat it twice, guys. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes a lot for me for a game to be go back and do it again. I did it twice. But I would do my and doing everything. I did then, like my friend said, Nick picked certain levels. I did everything. But it's great. You know, you know, you know, levels are annoying. But it, it's I like the story. I like the whole story and experience. It's really, really fun. I really enjoy it because every character. As, as, also, a lot of people complain about too. I'm glad before we go. The final boss is saying, oh, it's so anticlimactic. What are you talking about? It's epic. As epic, it's epic. You're fighting in space. There's a giant monster that's going to destroy the world. You're super sonic. You got, like, you know, dodge these things and hit them. You know, some people like, I think it's an awesome level. It's epic. You know, it's it's that great. It's, it's, you, it's, it's you versus that monster versus, the you know, the fate of the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like that. It, it puts that pressure and your time because, you know, you, can, right, you only have about, like, five minutes, I think. Yeah, so... I love that. I was, like, I was I was like, oh my god, this is so stupid. This is so <laughs> dumb. I was on the edge of my seat. Even the level previous before that, I was on the edge of my seat. You know, with um, what's it called? The, the boss. What's it called? The uh, bio lizard. Bio lizard. And we heard that final form. It's like it was. I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, boring. Like, it was epic. I I loved it. I did it. Like I said, I did it twice, guys. I did not. Skip I mean, it. how can you not love it when Crush Forty is blasting their theme song "Live and Learn" while you're like? I know, and that's the thing. That's the song. That's how the song really complimented what was going on. It makes you feel pumped. Like, I gotta stop this monster before it destroys the world. Pow, you know. And I love it. So overall, guys, I give this game like an 8.5 out of 10. It, it is a great game. Great game. A great sequel. Is it perfect? No. I believe no game is, I, and I agree with that philosophy. But to say, sit there and say only Sonic and Shadows levels are worth a damn and everything else is a piece of shit, guys, you're missing out on a lot of great things. A lot. Give it, like I said, give it a chance. There's no excuse not to get it. It's, it's, it's just, like, there's plenty of ways to purchase this game. Give it a chance. Don't, don't follow the hate. Have, you know, give it a chance. You never know. You might love it. You might love it. Hey, look like we have a thousand ways to die. I mean, I mean, maybe it's a die in the West. Excuse me. Um, that's a good TV thing. show, though. Oh, but this show. But, you know, <laughs> you're squeamish. I wouldn't recommend watching it. But overall, you know what I'm saying? You might end up liking it. Hell, maybe even loving it. You never know, guys. YOLO. You only live once. I mean, I give this game 10 out of 10 best game ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, being all serious here, I, I can think the audience knows that I suck this game as dick, so probably what I say really doesn't mean squat to them because I'm probably like a blind side fanboy who likes everything. No. Sonic Secret Rings was terrible. Sonic 06 is a glitchy mess. I still played through it, but it was a glitchy mess. We played a little bit of Sonic Boom. That was kind of boring. But then again, that one doesn't really count as like that's more of a spinoff, right? Because that wasn't like made by Sega Sega. No. But Sonic has had some entries that deserves more of a than this one, and I don't right. see why everyone's just hopping onto this. And I can't stress enough again, like him, if there's any way you possibly can. Grant, if you don't want to like risk your money into it and hating it, that's fine. If you have someone to bum it off of, bum it off of them. If you end up not liking it, and that's your opinion perfectly fine we're not gonna like better like this or we're gonna kill you no no but just like all games deserve it 
just give it a chance and then cast your final judgments. That's all. The few little people that see us, that's all we ask. Just if you haven't played it yet, just give it a chance. And if you might end up liking it, well then great. Then you can get past the popular crowd and actually see it for what it's worth. But if you're thinking it's not that great, then we can't judge you. Heck, it might be a hidden gem for you. You never know. At least you tried it. At least you gave it a good effort to give it a chance. If it wasn't your thing, well, we can't stop you there. Right. All right, guys. Thank you so thank you for watching the video, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. So what you guys feel? Do you agree with this? Do you agree or disagree? I love to hear you guys' thoughts on America, guys. Black and Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon, and, and uh, happy holidays. <laughs>